Well, 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 it's that time of the year again. 2016 Stanley Cup playoff prediction video that like I did last year. Um, been waiting so long for this. A little disappointing that my Bruins didn't make it. So, you know, I did a quick video saying that we had chances, you know. So this video will be the Eastern Conference and I'll do another video of the Western Conference. So I got all, I got five pages of stats in my prediction on a piece of paper. As you can, you can, you can hear it. Yep, you can hear it. So I'll take out, hang on, I'm going to get my Eastern Conference matchups. Hang on. And so, so this is going to be crazy. There's going to be crazy matchups in the Eastern Conference. I mean, like, especially in the Western Conference, you know. But another thing before I start, I want to um, tell you that I am going to be having guests doing this with me. I asked some people in the TTC. So far, Matt Ogden's going to be on my show next round. He's interested. Um, Athletic Dash is interested. There's some other people maybe. So if you're interested in doing round two with me, you know, hit me up on YouTube. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you know, message me. I'll be also doing this the NBA playoffs. I have a whole bunch of people wanting to do it for the first round, so that'll be fun. So, if you guys are interested, you know, inbox me or message me on Facebook if you're friends with me. So, getting into this video, this is going to be my Eastern Conference predictions. Like I said, I'll be doing the West right after this video. So, so... Starting off top, we got the President's Trophy, Washington Capitals. They had just a fantastic season, and they're facing against the wild card number two, Philadelphia Flyers, who have clinched a playoff spot. Um, the last playoff spot that I thought my Bruins would get, but you know this this is gonna be an interesting matchup. But the Capitals, they're really really good. You know they have a record of fifty six and seventeen and eight. Home record was just monstrous this season, 29 and 7 and 4, and their away was 27 and 10 and 4. Just a really good record, and they stand at the one seed with 120 points. With the Flyers, their record was decent. They were 14 and 27 and 14. Their home game was decent, 23 and 10 and 8, and their away, their away record was just awful. I don't think it was a good record. 17 and 17 and 6. They have the wild card spot number two. With 94 points. Um, looking at their regular season meeting. Um, the series is tied. 2-2. Two -two, so they both won. They both won two games. So. Um, looking at the Capitals. Key players to watch. Obviously Alex Ovechkin. Is just a monstrous player in the Capitals. Um, TJ Oshie. Is going to be a really good player to watch. Um, a player to watch on the Flyers. Is Clout. I can't even say his name. Wayne Simone's, whoever his name is, I can't say their name. And this is going to be a goalie matchup of Brendan Hopi versus Steve Mason. That's going to be an interesting goalie matchup. You know, this is going to be just... This is going to be an interesting series, but I think the Flyers will have some gas in the series. But there is, I think the Capitals are just way too good this year. Um, you know, as a Bruins fan, I do hate the Capitals. They are one of my hated teams, so. I mean, like, I honestly think this is going to be pretty much almost a blowout. I think the Capitals take this in five games. I think this Capitals team is just that good. Um, so I'm taking the Capitals in five games. Um, I think the Capitals win both home games, games one and two. I think they steal one of the Flyers games in game three. Um, I, I, I think the Flyers come up at home in Game 4, and then they go back to Washington. I think Washington takes Game 5. So that's the Washington Capitals and Flyers game. Like I said, I'm taking the Capitals in five games. Alright, moving on. We got... Actually, I'm going to go in order. We got the two-seeded Pittsburgh Penguins versus the three-seeded New York Rangers. Um, This is going to be their third time meeting in the playoffs. It, it, it's always just it's just great seeing them play in the playoffs. So um, the Rangers, I believe, won the last two, but you know the Pittsburgh Penguins. Looking at their record and stats, um, their record was forty eight and twenty six and eight. Their home and away was pretty decent. Home twenty six eleven and four. Away twenty two and fifteen and four. 
They stand at the two seed with 104 points. And the New York Rangers, they, the, the Rangers just, they're just, they, they were, they did really, really well. Um, 46 and 27 and 9. Their home, their home record was pretty good. 27 and 10 and 4. Their away was decent, but not that good. 19 and 17 and 5. Um, they stand at the three seed. Um, at, with 101 points. Um, uh, looking at the regular season, the Penguins lead the regular season meeting 3-1. Um, the Rangers have only had one, one game out of those four games. The Penguins lead it. Um, player, key player on the Penguin to watch, obviously Sidney Crosby, absolute monstrous. You know, I think he's a crybaby though. I, I, I hate Sidney Crosby, but he is a player to watch, um, um, the players to watch on the New York Rangers, Matt Zuccarello, he's going to be a beast. Um, Derek Baxter, they both lead the team with most goals. Um, goalie match, Mark Andre Fury versus Hendrik Lofwick. That's going to be just, this is the third time they're making the playoffs. Um, so making my prediction, you know, the Rangers, they've been playing really well. The Penguins, of course, really well. Um, I do believe the Rangers are really good at um, penalty kills, um, power play goals, but, you know, I think the Penguins are just too good, um, I, th I know what Ranger fans are gonna say, you know, we owe the Penguins in the playoffs, you know, but I, I, I honestly want to pick this Penguins team, um, but I think this is gonna go a bit to the distance, I uh, don't think it's gonna be a sweep or five games, I think it's gonna be six games, I'm picking the Penguins, to beat the Rangers in six games, um, I think I think the Penguins win both home games. Same with the Rangers. I think the Rangers win both home games, but they go back to Pittsburgh, win Game Five. Penguins have a three-two lead, and then they go back to um, New York. Um, Pittsburgh with that really good away record. Um, I think the Penguins break the hearts of Rangers fans. Shit. Um, I think the sorry about that. I think the. Um, Penguins go back to Madison Square Garden Game 6 and takes it. So I think I'm picking the Penguins in 6 games. So that's going to be interesting. So that's good. Um, Florida Panthers. Where are they? Alright, so moving on. We got the Florida Panthers, the one seed versus the wild card number one New York Islanders. Um, this is an interesting matchup. I don't think they have ever made met in the playoffs, I don't think, but, um, the Florida, Florida just had a really crazy record, 47 and 26 and 9, their home and away were pretty decent, 25 and 11 and 5 at home, 22 and 15 and 4 away, they stand with the one seed, whatever, with 103 points, um, the one seed is on here, as you can see, I'm just reading like that, they don't actually have the one seed, so, um, the New York Islanders, um, they, they honestly just played so well this season, in my opinion. One of those teams that have approved over the past years. Um, they had a record of 45, 27, and 10, and their home was 25, 11, and 5. Um, their way was 20, and 16, and 5, and they stand at the wild card with 100 points. Um, I can't remember what the regular season meeting, I didn't write that down, but key players to watch, um... There's a lot of players you can watch on the Florida Panthers. Um, a former Bruin, um, he leaves that team with so many points. We're all Jagger River. There's a lot of players. I can't even say the name. Um, fuck. Um, goalie, Roberto Longo, former Vancouver Canucks versus Thomas. I can't even fucking see what I wrote. Oh, well. Um... This is going to be a close match. I think that the Panthers are just way too good. Um, Ireland isn't playing good. I think it's going to be competitive. I think it's going to be physical. Um, you know, I think this is going to be six games, and I'm taking Florida. Um, I do believe that they're all going to win their home games. Games one and two, I think, will go to the Panthers. Their home game, I think the Islanders win their um, all their home games, and then five and six goes to the Panthers, so... I'm picking the Panthers over the Islanders in six games. <sighs> so, going to the last matchup, um, the number two seed, the Tampa Bay Lightning, take on the Detroit Red Wings. Um, they have met before. 
I believe Tampa Bay end up winning. I think so. I don't believe so. I can't remember, but Tampa Bay, they had a record of 46, 31, and 5. Um, home record, 25, and 13, and 3. Away was 21, 18, and 2, and they had 97 points. Um, Detroit's record, they had 41, and 30, and 11. Their home record was 22, 13, and 6, and their away was pretty... Not that good. 19 and 17 and 5 was 93 points. Um, the regular season meeting is tied. Um, you know, of course, on Tampa Bay, a player to watch is Steven Stanfield. He probably one of probably the elite players. Um, and of course, on Detroit, they have two stars. They have Pavel Dasku, whatever his name is, and Hendrik Zillerberg. Um, this is going to be a goalie matchup of Ben Bishop versus Petra. Ah, I can't see it. I do have to say this, though. The Reverends have been playing just best hockey. I'm not going to lie. Tampa Bay, too. But I think the Reverends can win the series. I think they have weapons. I think I, I think this is going to be a good series for them. So the fact that Tampa won it, I think, last year. Yeah, they did. Um, I think Detroit will get the revenge. Do I think this will go distance? Yes. I think this is going to be the only seven game series that this Eastern Conference first round will have. I'm picking the Red Wings to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in seven games. Um, I, I think they split the first four games. I think game five in Tampa Bay goes to the Lightning. Game six goes to the Red Wings. And I think in game seven, the Red Wings takes the game in um, Tampa Bay. So, yeah, I think the Red Wings will win in seven games. So... Going back to my prediction, number one, Presidents, 12 3, Washington Capitals, hosting the Philadelphia Flyers. I have the Capitals winning in five games. Um, the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on Detroit. I got Detroit in seven. The Florida Panthers and the New Orleans Islanders. I'm taking the Panthers in six. And then the last one, the Pittsburgh Penguins hosting the New York Rangers. I'm taking the Penguins in six games. That's my Eastern. And let's go to the Western Conference.